Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network today from the Mulholland Field here at Hutchinson. It's Pony League baseball time as the light blue team takes on the dark blue team. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupain. and welcome you aboard for today's game. South Union Township Sports Network coverage brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupain. We'll be back Back with the first pitch and the lineups right after this. Light blue team taking on the dark blue team. The light blue team to bat first here in the top half of the first inning. Let's take a look at their lineup leading off the shortstop, number two, Alex Edwards. Batting second in center field, James Williams. Batting third, the first baseman, Noah Lyon. Alex Sutton in the cleanup spot catching. Batting fifth and pitching, number eight, Cam Van Meter. Batting sixth and playing third base, Roman Haskins. Batting seventh and playing second base, Jacob Mahoney. C.J. Colgan in right field, batting eighth, and Aiden Milsom in left field, batting ninth for the light blue team. Defensively for the dark blue team, it's Braden Tinkalavich in left, Leighton Mosier in center, and Cole Jarrett in right. Gary Smitley playing third, Zane Klingen playing short. Braden Grimm playing second base and Caden Pegg playing first. Nick Fleischer on the mound for the dark blue team and Jacob Kalich is catching. Certainly a warm night. Game time temperature around 90 degrees. We get ready to start this one here from the Mulholland Field today. And we are set to go. First pitch to Alex Edwards, swing and a miss. Strike one. Because of the heat today, I was just informed that the most amount of batters that will bat in any given inning will be nine. Just trying to move this game along with the heat today. Oh, one pitch. Edwards fouls it off. Count moves to 0-2. Oh and, and as we said, the temperatures today actually in the mid-90s around the Uniontown area, 91 degrees when I pulled into the parking lot here at Hutchinson about a half hour ago. And now the 0-2, Flesher to Edwards, fouled off as Alex stays alive. And they play seven here in the Pony League. They also have a two-hour per game time limit as well. They can't start an inning after two hours of play. We almost saw that come into play last week in a game that ended up a draw after seven. This is the first of two scheduled games here today as the 0-2 missed low and outside, moves the count to one and two. Well, both of them for you here on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Nick Barczak will bring you the nightcap. So one and two just underway. Flesher to Alex Edwards. And the one-two pitch. Edwards again staying alive, fouling it off. Count remains one and two. Penultimate week of the Pony League series. They'll wrap up the regular season July 11th. Another 1-2 fouled off. Count remains 1-2. and two. Edwards doing a nice job to protect the plates there for the light blue team. Here we go again. Another 1-2 pitch on the way. And once again, Edwards fouls it off. So a long at bat here. Flesher to Edwards, the leadoff batter for the light blue team here in the top of the first inning. I'll try it one more time, one, two pitch again. Edwards with a chopper here to third. There is Smitley, but Smitley unable to come up with the baseball as it rolls into foul territory. So Edwards on via an air. And the light blue team in business here in the top half of the first inning with number 10, James Williams, the center fielder, coming to the plates. 
Both teams batting nine here today. A couple of call-ups on the light blue team. Swing and a miss there from Williams. We'll see how aggressive Edwards is on the base paths. Noah Lyon wearing number four in the on-deck circle for the light blue team. Flesher from the stretch. Swing and a miss. Kind of 0-2. Flesher to Williams. Now the 0-2 out of the way. This is low and outside, 1-2. and two. Flesher looks over at first. Without a throw, a head first slide back there from Edwards. Field in good shape, a little dry, haven't had any rain in the area the last couple of days. That'll likely change tomorrow. And there's strike three as Williams looks at it right at the knees. So our first out here in the top half of the first inning. That'll bring up Noel Lyon, the first baseman. We saw Lyon as a cross-up playing the other day when his team had a bye week. Runner going, Lyon a little chopper here to shorts. Zane Klingen is there, throw over to first high and wide. That will allow Edwards to advance down to third and in a second safely goes Noah Lyon. So a couple of defensive errors from the dark blue team here in the top half of the first inning has the light blue team with two on and one out. With Alex Sutton coming to the plate. Catcher wearing number six. Edwards down at third, Lyon at second. First pitch here to Sutton in for a strike 0 and 1. Cam Van Meter, the pitcher in the on deck circle. That pitch low in the dirt gets behind the catcher Kalich, and scoring on the play is Alex Edwards. Down to third goes Lyon. They count now one and one. Flesher to Sutton. A oh, good start for the light blue team here in the top half of the first inning. That pitch a little low. Count now moves to two and one. Sutton, the fourth batter to come to the plate for the light blue team here in the top of the first. Next pitch on the way, a little high and inside. Takes the count to three and one now. Flesher to Sutton. One run already across, and Noah Lyon down at third for the light blue team. One out as we work here in the top half of the first inning. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay. Nice to have you along with us here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Now throw over to third. Head first slide back safely there is Lyon. Three one pitch. And therefore a strike, and we go full of three and two. Flesher to Sutton. Now the payoff pitch on the way. In there for strike three. So the second backwards K of the inning for Nick Flesher. We struck out James Williams earlier, and now sends down Alex Sutton. Now two outs here in the top of the first, and Cam Van Meter at the plate for the light blue team. First pitch, a little low there to Van Meter. Count at 1-0. Oh. We'll see how aggressive Lyon is down at third with two outs now here in the inning. Might have the green light on any ball that gets past the catcher, Jacob Kalich. 1-0 now to Van Meter, and Kalich a nice block there for the dark blue team. Count now 2-0. 
2-0 pitch. High and inside, 3-0. and From Flesher to Van Meter. It's like Van Meter wearing a Belvern and a Leopards batting helmet. That pitch inside for ball four. And I'll put runners on the corners here for the light blue team. Two outs, and Roman Haskins, the sixth light blue batter to come to the plate here in the top half of the first inning. Jacob Mahoney now moves into the on-deck circle. First pitch here to Haskins, gets away from Kalich. Lyon not running, but Van Meter will take second. Light blue team still without a hit, but a couple of errors from the dark blue team. And the walk issued to Van Meter has given the light blue team three base runners so far in this game as that pitch misses there to Haskins, counting out 2-0. And that pitch misses low as well. First base is open. With Van Meter now down at second and Lyon at third. Next pitch from Flesher. Swing and a miss. Kind of three and one. Rare swing there from Haskins with a 3 0 count. 3 1 pitch. And that's high for ball four. So back-to-back -back walks issued by Nick Flesher. And the base is now loaded for the light blue team with Jacob Mahoney coming to the plate. Mahoney, the seventh light blue player to bat near the top of the first, and he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. Count 0-1-1. C.J. Colgan, one of the call-ups in the on-deck circle. 0-1. Misses to even up the count at 1-1. One one. We're on top of one of the dugouts here down the third baseline. Bringing you the action. And I told Jerry Dupay, who's behind the camera again here. It's like we're cats on a hot tin roof. The sun beating down. Pitch a little low. Should get cooler, though, as the... Evening progresses. Next pitch on the way. That one just misses. Got out three and one. And nowhere to put Mahoney right now. Flesher needing a strike. Three one pitch. Swing get a miss there from Jacob. Got out four three and two. If the dark blue team can get it out here, certainly it would get out of a big-time jam. Only conceding one here in the top of the first 3-2 pitch. And Mahoney stays alive, fouling it off. Made Flesher throw a lot of pitches here on a warm night as well. Here we go again, 3-2, and two. Flesher to Mahoney. And Mahoney staying alive, fouling it off. Lyon was already three-quarters of the way to home. Off that foul ball. Now three and two once again. Flesher winds and fires, and the pitch is low for ball four. So an RBI walk for Jacob Mahoney. Run scored for Noah Lyon. It's now two to nothing. Light blue team over the dark blue team. Now CJ Colgan at the plate. Swing and a miss. Strike on Colgan. Aiden Milsom will be the last batter to bat here in the inning if he does come to the plate. Now two strikes on Colgan. Again, was called up for this one today with the light blue team being short on numbers. Now the 0-2 pitch. 
That one misses high. Count moves to one and two. Now the one two on the way inside. Evens things up now at two and two. Two two pitch from Flesher. High and inside, three and two. And actually a smaller crowd than we're typically used to seeing down near the Ball Holland Field for these youth games. A lot of folks staying in tonight, hopefully watching our broadcast on the South Union Township Sports Network because of the heat. Three, two pitch on the way, swing and a miss, strike three. So the light blue team scores two runs. They do leave the bases loaded here in the top half of the first inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first, two to nothing. Light blue team over the dark blue team here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Our live stream here today, courtesy of the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist SWGI in Uniontown and Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. Moving now to the bottom of the first inning, the dark blue team coming to the plate. Let's take a look at their lineup, leading off the center fielder, Leighton Mosier. Batting second, the shortstop, Zane Klingen. Nick Flesher pitching and batting third. Jacob Kalich catching in the cleanup spot. Gary Smitley playing third base and batting fifth. Caden Pegg playing first base and batting sixth. Cole Jarrett in right field batting seventh. Braden Tankalavich in left field batting eighth, and Braden Grimm playing second base, batting ninth. Defensively for the light blue team, it's Aiden Milsom in left, James Williams in center, and C.J. Colgan in right. Roman Haskins playing third, Alex Edwards playing short. Jacob Mahoney's the second baseman, Noah Lyon playing first, Cam Van Meter pitching, and Alex Sutton catching. There's Leighton Mosier. We'll lead things off here for the dark blue team here in the bottom of the first inning. Dark blue team sponsored by the Hutchinson Sportsman's Club. Now Mosier will step in. 2-0, light blue team leads it. First pitch on the way, and first pitch swinging there from Mosier. Gets through right in between Alex Edwards and Jacob Mahoney in a center field. Relay comes in from James Williams, and a leadoff single for Leighton Mosier. And the dark blue team in business. Now Zane Klingen will come to the plate. Wearing number one. Starting shortstop for the dark blue team here today. Van Meter with a look in now from the stretch. First pitch to Klingen. Misses for ball one. Didn't miss by much. Pretty good pitch there from Van Meter. Count at 1-0. and A 1-0 pitch. That one well off the plate. 2-0 now. Van Meter to Klingen. This ball popped up. Should be routine going right to the 
Second baseman Jacob Mahoney, who makes the catch for the first down of the inning. Now one away. The pitcher Nick Flesher coming to the plate. Now Van Meter's first pitch here to Flesher. High for ball one. Had a pretty long top half of the first inning. Light blue team sent eight men to the plate, mustered only two runs, left the bases loaded. Next pitch to Flesher. Hard hit ground ball right back at Van Meter. Th turns to first and records the out. 1-3. Good snare there from Van Meter. On a well-hit ground ball there from Flesher. Now Jacob Kalich at the plate. Leighton Mosier now in scoring position at second. First pitch high and inside and gets away from Sutton, who's able to regain and make the throw down to third, but they're safely Leighton Mosier. Counts 1-0 and here to Kalich. His dad, Matt, the head coach for the dark blue team. Swing and a miss. Evens up the count at 1-1. One and one. Next pitch from Van Meter, fouled off there by Jacob, who now will have to protect the plate with two strikes on him. Counts one and two, Van Meter to Kalich. Check swing, pitch was off the plate. Kalich did not go, counting out even at two and two. Has to be hot down there for the umpires as well. Especially behind home plate with the gear on. That pitch inside, and we're full of three and two. Van Meter to Kalich. That one low and outside for ball four, so Kalich. Issued a two-out walk. Give the dark blue team two on with two outs. And Gary Smitley coming to the plate. We've got a courtesy runner here for the catcher, Kalich. It'll be Zane Klingen. Now the first pitch from Van Meter to Gary Smitley. Inside for ball one, popped out of the glove of Alex Sutton, allowing the courtesy runner Klingon to get down to second. He's pitched to Smitley, well hit. And the gap in right center field right between James Williams and C.J. Colgan. Mosier scores. The courtesy runner clinging across and ahead for a slide into second for Gary Smitley. So a two RBI double to right center field for Gary Smitley. Driving in Mosier and Klingon, who was the courtesy runner for Kalich. And the dark blue team is even this game up at two. Now with Caden Pegg at the plate. Pegg first pitch swinging fouls it off. Counted 0-1. And Smitley got a pretty good piece of that drive he had in a right center field to tie this game up at two. 
Now the 0-1 here to Caden Pegg, hit on the ground, getting through on the left side. Smitley rounding third, now they're going to hold him up right there. And that well-hit ball will give Pegg a single to left field. Now runners on the corners with Cole Jarrett coming to the plate. Right fielder for the dark blue team. Seventh dark blue player to bat. Here in the bottom of the first, runner going. Swing and a miss. No throw down to second. As Caden Pegg takes the base. Next pitch on the way. A little chopper here to first. In and out of the glove of Noah Lyon. Rare mistake for Lyon in the field. And that will score Gary Smitley. And the dark blue team now in the lead at 3-2. to two. Braden Tankalavich now at the plate. Eighth dark blue player to bat here in the inning. He'll take the first pitch for a strike from Cam Van Meter. So Mosier, Kalich's spot. Klingon actually scored the run. And Gary Smitley, all scoring for the dark blue team here in the bottom of the first inning. That pitch inside to Tankalavich. Kind of even at one and one, teammates call him Tank. Not as big as a lot of the guys I've seen called Tank in the past. Swing and a miss there. Down at one and two. Of course, he gets it from his last name. A lot of guys get the nickname because of their size. Now the one, two, Van Meter to Tankalovich off the plate. Evens up the count at two and two. That one high. Or full three and two. And Tankalovich gets on base. Braden Grimm will be the last batter of the inning no matter what. Again, the maximum they're batting in any half inning today is nine because of the heats. 3-2 pitch, low and outside for ball four. That'll load up the bases. So the inning will end no matter what after this Braden Grimm at bat. Grimm, the second baseman, wearing number three. Chokes up on the bat. First pitch high and inside. There to Grimm. Now the 1 0. Grimm fouls it off. Evens up the count at one and one. One one on the way. Misses low. Count now two and one. Van Meter to Grimm. This has been a long first inning. White blue team sending eight men to the plate. Dark blue team coming back with a maximum of nine men to the plate. There's a strike to Grimm. Kind of even at two and two. Two two on the way. Swing and a miss. We're gonna say it was foul tipped. Grim got a piece of it to stay alive. Now three and two here again. Van Meter to Grim and time called. Now 
warning issue there to Van Meter. For taking the ball out of his glove, putting it back in, and taking it out again. 3-2 pitch, foul tipped. Now these kids, though, still learning the game. Three and two again. I had a three and two. Must have been two and two. And now we're full of three and two. Now the payoff pitch to Grimm. Hits it on the ground to Lyon at first. He'll step on the bag to make the play. Three unassisted for the Third out of the inning, but the dark blue team getting three runs. They leave three on base, and after one, it's dark blue three, light blue two here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Our live stream today brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown, Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI, and Uniontown and Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. Moving to the top of the second, dark blue team, a 3-2 lead over the light blue team. Zayden Milsom, Alex Edwards, and James Williams do up here for light blue. Milsom, one of the call-ups, takes the first pitch for strike one from Nick Flesher. Left fielder wearing number 11 today. 0-1 pitch. Hit on the ground and through on the right side. Charging in is Cole Jarrett from right. But a single to right field for Aiden Milsom. And believe it or not, that's the first hit of the game for the light blue team. And five base runners in the top of the first. Three walks and two got on via errors. One of those getting on via an error was Alex Edwards, who scored the game's first run. I'll take the first pitch here for ball one. The way this game started time-wise, I doubt we'll get through seven today. Between the heat and the time limits that they've put on these games. But you never know. We might pick up here as we hit the middle innings. Check swing. We'll check it. They say Edwards went. Edwards had that long at bat to lead off the top half for the first inning. I think he made Flesher throw about nine pitches before getting on via an air. That pitch a little low, getting away there from Kalich. Allowing Milsom get down to second. Milsom a pretty crafty player. Seems pretty heady out there, too for being a call-up. That pitch misses below the knees. Three and one now. Flesher to Edwards. 
Dark Blue team a 3-2 lead. Top of the second inning. That pitch misses for ball four. So the light blue team, that's their first two hitters on base. Single from Milsom, walk from Edwards. Now James Williams coming to the plate. Williams struck out looking first time up. Chokes up on the bat. First pitch from Flesher. Williams fouls it off. Counted 0-1-1. O one one pitch, misses low. Count now even at one and one. I have three umps for this one here today. Don't see that all the time. That ball well hit, fair ball down the first baseline. Milsom rounding third as the relay comes in. He'll score to tie this game up at three. And Alex Edwards gets down to third base. So an RBI single for James Williams. And the light blue team has tied things up. Still nobody out. Here in the top of the second inning with Noel Lyon coming to the plate. He got on via an air and scored a run. First time up. First pitch and therefore a strike to Noah. 0-1. Williams now on first, Edwards on third. Milsom already across here in the top of the second. Next pitch to Lyon. Misses there. No throw as they'll let Williams take second. Count now one and one to Noah Lyon. Pitch a little low, hitting the plate. And a little flip, not in time, as Edwards scores. And the light blue team back in the lead at 4-3. to three. Still nobody out. Surprisingly, Williams did not go down to third. Two and one the counts. Flesher to Lyon, and now Flesher steps off. That one misses low. Count now three and one. Three one high and inside for ball four. That should be a. They're going to call Williams out. Down at third. Running on ball four. I think a lot of folks questioning that call. Nonetheless, is the first out recorded here in the top of the second. Now Alex Sutton at the plate. Sutton also struck out looking first time up. All three outs recorded in the top of the first inning were via the strikeout. That pitch in there for a strike. Kind of one and one. Flesher to Sutton. 4-3 now the score. Light blue over the dark blue team. As we work here in the top of the second inning. Pitch in there for a strike to Sutton. Kind of one and two. One, two, pitch. This one popped up. And on the same team there, I think it was Braden Grimm, the second baseman, who made the catch. Almost ran into the shortstop, Zane Klingen. Someone needs to take charge there. Normally it's the shortstop's job in that position to make the call if he's going to get it. Not the second baseman, Grimm, never called for it either. 
Nonetheless, the out recorded, and now Cam Van Meter at the plate, and we have two away. Here in the top of the second throw, back to first tag made. They're going to say he got back safely. That was close. That one fouled off there by Van Meter, who walked back in the first inning. A couple of close plays here in the top of the second. One down at third, where Williams was called out. Then Lyons slide back to first, where he was called safe. That pitch in there for a strike. Got out one and two. Flesher to Van Meter. On high and inside. Count now even at two and two. Now the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The ball was dropped there by the catcher, Kalich, who makes the toss down to Caden Pegg at first to officially retire Van Meter. The light blue team, though, tacking two more runs on. We'll head to the bottom of the second, 4-3. Light blue over the dark blue here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Again, our live video stream here today brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and insurance agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis attorneys at law. South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist SWGI in Uniontown and Zebley Mile and White. Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. Moving now to the bottom of the second inning, top of the order, two up here for the dark blue team, Leighton Mosier to lead things off. It's the light blue team four, dark blue team three, first pitch swinging and a single in a center field for Leighton Mosier, just like he led off the bottom of the first inning. Mosier gets a single to center field to lead off the bottom of the second, and the dark blue team in business to start this half inning. Now bring up Zane Klingen. Klingen popped up to the second baseman, Jacob Mahoney. Back in the first inning, first pitch swinging here, and this one blooped into center field, bouncing in front of James Williams, who tries to make the throw down to second. Would have been a force out, but the throw was high. It just goes right back to the pitcher, Van Meter. So two pitches and two singles into center field for Mosier and Klingen. Now I'll bring up Nick Flesher. Flesher grounded out first time up. Van Meter now from the stretch with two on and nobody out. First pitch swinging here again, and that one passed the outstretched glove of Jacob Mahoney. Relay comes in. Dark blue team goes station to station. So three pitches, three singles, all in the center field from Mosier, Klingon, and Flesher for the dark blue team. You don't see that too often. Now Jacob Kalich coming to the plate. He walked and scored a run first time up. Like this aggressive swinging early on. 
Kalich swings and misses at the first pitch. He's trying to keep the streak alive there with another single. Mosier now at third, Klingon at second, Flesher at first. Kalich at the plate with an 0-1 count on him with Van Meter pitching. That one low, hopping away from the catcher Sutton, who regains. Runners hold their position. Count evens up at 1-1. One and one. Things cooling off a little bit. I think we're down to 89 degrees right now. Still a hot one. Should be more comfortable for the 8 o'clock game here with Nick Barczyk bringing you the action. And a rope there from... Kalich in a left field, a little bobble from Milsom trying to regain, get some assistance there from James Williams on the relay in. That's a two RBI single to left for Jacob Kalich driving in Leighton Mosier and Zane Klingen. Now the dark blue team back in the lead at 5-4. to four. We'll get a courtesy runner here for Kalich. It'll be Zane Klingen. Gary Smitley, who had a two RBI double to right center field and scored her on last time up, coming to the plate. So four batters coming to the plate so far here in this bottom of the second inning, and all four have reached base safely with hits. First pitch swinging here, popped up in foul territory and unable to make the grab there was Lyon. Count now at 0-1 from Van Meter to Smitley. That could have been one that Lyon could have snared there. Just couldn't get an eye on it. That sun beginning to set a little bit. 0-1, misses low there to Smitley. Evens up the count at 1-1. One and one. Now the 1-1 one, one runner going, pitch fouled off there by Smitley. Now that's two strikes on him. Count now one and two. We'll step off, throw back to second from Van Meter. Nick Flesher on second, courtesy runner Klingen running for Kalich on first. It's mainly a ground ball foul on the left side. Count remains one and two. Van Meter to Smitley, nobody out here on the bottom of the second. And now a 5-4 lead for the dark blue team over the light blue team. That one just missed. Count now even at two and two. That one just got away from Van Meter. Of course, how hot it is. It's got a lot of moisture on the baseball, and that one just got away from Van Meter on the delivery. Count now three and two. Runner going and fouling it off again is Smitley. As Flesher was looking to run from second down to third. One more time, here we go again. That pitch is low and outside for ball four to Gary Smitley. That'll load the bases again. So all five dark blue players have reached base safely here in the bottom of the second inning. Now Caden Pegg coming to the plates. Pegg single to right field last time up. First pitch swinging here, popped up. And this is in foul territory, and a basket 
catch made there from Roman Haskins for the first down of the inning. Now Cole Jarrett coming to the plates. Jarrett got on via an air last time up. Two outs. Only have one out here in the inning. Yeah, right. That was the first out recorded. First pitch to Cole Jarrett is low for ball one. Caden Pegg now courtesy running for the pitcher Nick Flesher. Down at third. That one chopped foul by Jarrett. Count even at one and one. One one pitch. Just missed. Count out two and one. Two one on the way, and that one chopped. Going here to second and able to make a play on it was Jacob Mahoney to score a couple of runs. Smitley gets down to third, but you had Peg running for Flesher scoring. The courtesy runner Klingen running for Kalich also scoring on the play. Not that hard chopper will give Jared a hit. Single to right center and two RBIs. That's our four runs scored in the inning. It's 7-4, dark blue over the light blue team. We're going to get a pitching change. So we'll come back and tell you about the new light blue pitcher. Again, 7-4, light dark blue over the light blue team. We're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Back here at Hutchinson, Braden Tankalavich at the plate. Dark blue team already four runs across here in the bottom of the second. New pitcher is James Williams. Cam Van Meter moves to second base. Jacob Mahoney in the center field. Actually, they made a couple of other switches here. Milsom now in center. 
first pitch high. Tank Lovich. So it looks like Jacob Mahoney now on the left. Another pitch missing there from Williams to take a lavage. Take a lavage, the eighth dark blue player to bat here in this half inning. And again, the most you could have bat in an inning today is nine because of the heat. They had nine bat in the first inning. Hard ground ball here right back to Williams. Makes the throw over to first in time. Now they'll look for the double play, and they'll get the double play, but the run will count as Smitley scored before the out was recorded down at second. So that one goes 1-3-6. Unconventional, but it ends the inning. An inning that saw the dark blue team score five runs. So after two, it's the dark blue team eight, light blue team four. We're back with the top of the third right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. In our live stream today, brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, United Bank. Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiff Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist SWGI, in Uniontown, and Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. Roman Haskins, Jacob Mahoney, and C.J. Colgan batting for the light blue team here in the top of the third inning. Dark blue leads at 8-4. First pitch misses for ball one to Haskins, who walked back in the first inning. Light blue team scored two in the top of the first. Dark blue came back with three in the bottom of the first. Light blue added two more on the top of the second to take a 4-3 lead. Then a big five-run bottom of the second inning for the dark blue team. As us we're at right now at 8-4, to four, dark blue over the light blue team. Last pitch fouled off there from Haskins. Count now even at 1-1. One and one. That one alone in the dirt. Good block there from Kalich. Catchers might be the... Hottest guys on the field today, and that ball hit well on the ground in the left field right between Klingen and Smitley. And a leadoff single to left for Roman Haskins. Third hit of the game for the light blue team. And Jacob Mahoney coming to the plate. Had an RBI walk first time up. Walked with the bases loaded. Swing and a miss. When a chasing there, that pitch from Flesher a little high. Haskins on first, nobody out. As we work here in the top of the third, 0-1, and therefore a strike quickly 0-2 to Jacob Mahoney. O two 2 on the way, swing and a miss, strike three. First out recorded here in the top of the third as Mahoney goes down. Fifth strikeout of the game for Flesher. Now C.J. Colgan, who was one of his strikeout victims back in the first inning, comes to the plate. First pitch here to Colgan, high and outside, 1-0. We talk all the time during our minor and major league games in the under-12 and under-10-year-old division the importance of Throwing strikes, and I think the same thing certainly holds true here in the Pony League division. 
Make the guy swing the bats. Issue the walks, nine times out of ten, they come back to bite you. One and one now, Flasher to Colgan. And therefore a strike count out one and two. Now the one two pitch, high and inside. Up next, another call up Aiden Milsom, who by far is the smallest guy on the field, but he had a single and scored a run. First time up. A good crafty young player. Swing and a miss there, and down goes Colgan. Sixth strikeout of the game now for Flesher. The aforementioned Aiden Milsom coming to the plate. Flesher's first pitch here to Milsom. This is high for ball one. Another advantage that Milsom has, shorter strike zone. one -oh pitch. This is again 2-0. Milsom digs in again. 2-0 pitch, and therefore a strike. Count out 2-1. and one. An 8-4 if you're just joining us, dark blue over the light blue. Two outs, top of the third. Foul that one off, Milsom. Count out even at 2-2. Two and two. Haven't had a half inning so far where a run has yet to, where a run has not been scored. Might see it here, 2-2 pitch, misses. Count now full of three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Two outs, top of the third pitch to Milsom, high for ball four. So two at-bats, two plate appearances, and both times Milsom on base safely. Now two on with two outs in the top of the order, and Alex Edwards coming to the plate. Edwards is getting set to catch in the next half inning. He has to take off the gear. And swing the bat here against Flesher. Edwards got on via a walk. Scored a run back in the first inning. Walked and scored a run in the second inning. And the light blue team already starting their third trip through the lineup here in the third inning. And you see the dark blue do the same thing in the bottom half of the inning. Big count there from Edwards. Swing and a miss. Counted 0-1-1. Game already over an hour long, and we're only here in the top of the third. That one hopping away there from Kalich. Throw down to third, not in time. And did the base come out there? Yes, it did. And Haskins was thinking about running. Can't really get back on the bag because there is no bag. Rare to see that get ripped out. We have Haskins down at third, Milsom at second, 2-1 count here on Alex Edwards. Score is still 8-4, dark blue over the light blue. Next pitch, high and in tight. Count out three and one. Three-one pitch. Inside for ball four, and that'll load up the bases. So Edwards walks for the second time in this game. Now James Williams comes to the plate. He's the sixth light blue player to bat here in this half inning. We'll get a courtesy runner here for Edwards, who was getting set to come into the game to catch. It'll be Colgan to run. Record of the last outs.
Flesher on the mound. Williams at the plates. First pitch to James and a chopper. Here a third and a good play made by Gary Smitley, who steps on the bag for the final out of the inning. Light blue team leaving the bases loaded. Could not pick up a run, even though they sent six men to the plate here in the top of the third inning. So we go to the bottom of the third, eight to four, dark blue over the light blue team here on the South Union Township Sports Network. In our live stream here today, brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI, and Uniontown, and Zebley Mahalov and White, the Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. Moving out of the bottom of the third inning, dark blue team coming to the plate, leading at 8-4 to four over the light blue team. Dark blue team sent nine men to the plate in the first inning, eight to the plate in the second inning, scored three runs in the bottom of the first, five in the bottom of the second, and it'll be Braden Grimm to lead things off here in the bottom of the third. Grimm, first pitch, he went around. He counted 0-1. Alex Edwards now catching for the light blue team. Had to show some hops there to bring that one down. I believe it's Alex Sutton now playing short. That pitch just rolled a little inside there on Braden Grimm, who grounded out three unassisted in his first at bat in the bottom of the first inning. Good breaking ball there. Count now even at two and two. Two two high and inside. Three and two now to Braden Grimm. That's inside for ball four. So the dark blue team getting another base runner and Braden Grimm leading it by four and eight to four. Now the top of the order, Leighton Mosier coming to the plate. Mosier two singles to center field and two runs scored so far in this game. It's the first time he's not let off an inning. First pitch here to Mosier and therefore a strike. Good fastball from Williams. Counted 0-1. The 0-1 pitch, and therefore another strike. A nice breaking ball from Williams, doing a nice job to mix up the pitches. Count now at 0-2. And, 
Now the 0-2 pitch, runner going, hit on the ground on the right side, and they had shifted Van Meter over to cover the bag. I think he was in his normal spot there. He would have made the play. And Mosier is now 3-for-3 three three in this game. Two singles to center, and that single to right. Now two on and nobody out. Lead at four, eight to four, and Zane Klingen coming to the plate. Zane one for two today with a single and a run scored. Williams glances over the shoulder. Looks at Mosier. Healthy leadoff second from Grimm. First pitch swinging. Ground ball here to Shorts. And the force out recorded Sutton to Van Meter. Goes the fielder's choice, 6-4. For the first down of the inning. Graham advances down to third. Of course, Klingen safe at first. And Nick Flesher coming to the plates. Williams' first pitch here to Flesher. Swing and a miss. Counted 0-1. Now the 0-1, this one chops, one off the plate foul. Now time called. Home plate umpire talking to the pitcher, James Williams. Allows the catcher, Alex Edwards, to get a drink. Now Williams getting back on the hill. Flesher back in the batter's box after that little delay. Counts 0-2. Williams to Flesher. Runners on the corners. Lead at 8-4. to 0-2 pitch. This one shot. Going here to second. Flip over to Sutton for one. Throw back to first. A little wide of the bag and safe at home is Grimm. So it goes as a fielder's choice, 4-6, RBI for Flesher. Now a 9-4 lead for the dark blue team. And the second out recorded here in the inning, and now Jacob Kalich coming to the plate. In a two RBI single to left and scored a run first time, or last time up, first time up, walked and scored a run. We're going to get a courtesy runner here for the pitcher. Flesher will be clinging to run. Now Kalich steps in. Only runner on base now is the courtesy runner, clinging. Williams works from the stretch. First pitch swinging again from Kalich, knocking it down there with Sutton at short. Has no play, well hit ball will give Klingen, or Kalich, excuse me, an infield single. Now Gary Smitley coming to the plate. First time up, Smitley, two RBI, double to right center, scored a one, a run, walked and scored a run last time up. Two on, two outs, lead at nine to four, dark blue over the light blue. First pitch to Smitley, and hits this one high in the air, and it will be caught by the center fielder Aiden Milsom for the third out of the inning. So Milsom, who initially was coming in, had a backup just a little bit and made the grab for the third out of the inning. The dark blue team, though, tacks another run on. And after three, it's a 9-4 lead for the dark blue team over the light blue team here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Our live video stream brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes. United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specials, SWGI, and Uniontown and Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. New pitcher for the dark blue team, Caden Pegg. Nick Flesher was pitching, now catching, and Jacob Kalich, who was catching, now playing first base. For the light blue team, it's hitters 3, 4, and 5 here in the top of the fourth inning. Noel Lyon, Alex Sutton, and Cam Van Meter. Light blue team making their way through the lineup for a third time, but they trail at 9 to 4. Noel Lyon to lead things off. Pegs first pitch to Lyon, high for ball one. A little bit of a sidearm delivery there from Peg. Certainly creates a unique look for the batters at the plate. 1-0. This ball hit hard on the ground, a short, nice snag from Klingon. Long throw over to first, in and out of the glove of Kalich. Kalich had it, just could not hang on. So Lyon safe at first. Now Alex Sutton coming to the plate. First pitch here to Sutton. And therefore a strike, 0-1. One alone in the dirt. Good block there from Flesher. Count at one and one. One one pitch inside. Count out two and one. The 2 1 pitch. Just missed. Got now 3 and 1 to Alex Sutton. A 3 1 popped up. So hit the roof of the pavilion. Takes us to full count of three and two. So 
He's not an 0 for 2 today. I'm going to change that right here. 3-2 pitch, a swing and a miss, strike three. It's a first out on this top of the fourth. Now Cam Van Meter will come to the plate. Van Meter 0 for 1 with a walk today. Walked first time up, struck out swinging. Then the second inning. 9-4, dark blue over the light blue team. Working here in the top of the fourth. That one fouled off by Van Meter. Counted 0-1. No one pitch. Missed inside. Can't now even at one and one. One one pitch. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Peg to Van Meter. Have a one, two, swing and a miss, strike three. So back to back strikeouts for Caden Pegg. Now two away here in the top of the fourth. With Roman Haskins coming to the plates. Dark blue trying to blank the light blue team for a second straight half inning. First pitch here to Haskins. And therefore a strike. Haskins on base safely in both plate appearances. Walked back in the first inning, single to left field back in the third inning. Behind 0-1 here. No one just a little low. Count now even at 1-1. One and one. One one pitch, high and inside. Hopped away there from the catcher Flesher, allowing Lyon to get down to second. Got out two and one. Two one to Haskins. That hit him. Seems all right. Going down to first. Now two on with two outs. And Jacob Mahoney at the plate. First pitch missing there to Jacob. Count at 1-0. The way this game's going, I doubt we'll play seven here today. Already have the elapsed time of this game at an hour and 25 minutes. Swing and a miss there from Jacob Mahoney. Only another swing and a miss. Got now one and two. The one two pitch is low. Count even at two and two. Runner though advancing, lying down to third. Pitch misses low, no throw there, and they'll let Haskins get down to second. Count now four, three, and two. Payoff pitch. 
This ball on a line to center field will bounce in front of Leighton Mosier. Relay comes in. It will score Noah Lyon. An RBI single to center. Second RBI of the game for Jacob Mahoney. And cuts the dark blue lead now to 9-5. To C.J. Colgan coming to the plate. Runners on the corners. Colgan the sixth light blue player to bat here in the top of the fourth inning. Takes the first pitch outside for ball one. A 1-0. Colgan a little nubber here to second. Grimm is there. Makes the throw over to first in time to Kalich to retire Colgan 4-3 for the third out of the inning. But the light blue team getting one back. What to the bottom of the fourth. 9-5, dark blue over the light blue here on the South Union Township Sports Network. In our live video stream, brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI, and Union Town and Zebley Mahalov and White. Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. Moving now to the bottom of the fourth inning, it's Caden Pegg, Cole Jarrett, and Braden Tankalavich up for the dark blue team. Dark blue leads it nine to five. First pitch high there from James Williams. Again, with as hot as it's been today, a lot of moisture around those baseballs. Very easy to lose the grip on some of the deliveries. 1-0. That one a little one hopper. Got out two and zero. Williams came on in relief of Cam Van Meter for the light blue team today. Two zero pitch. Another one hopper as Williams struggling with control a little bit. Got now three and zero. Now the 3-0 inside for ball four. So four-pitch walk issued to Caden Pegg. Now we have Cole Jarrett. Cole got on via air in the first inning. Picked up two RBIs on a single to right center field in the second inning. Swing and a miss here. Counted 0-1. It's a four-run lead right now at 9-5. 
A one pitch. High and inside, runner going. High throw down to second, and safely there is Caden Pegg. So Pegg with a stolen base. Count now two and one. Williams from the stretch, 2-1 pitch here to Jarrett. And therefore a strike count now leaving at 2-2. Two and two. The dark blue team hasn't had an inning yet where they haven't scored at least one run. And that ball hits Jarrett right on the elbow. That had to hurt a little bit. Jarrett seems to have shaken it off. He'll head down to first. As now take a lavage coming to the plate. Tank walked back in the first inning. Hit into a double play to end the second. Starting to see some long shadows now. First pitch here to Tank, swing and a miss. Count at 0-1. Now the 0-1, misses low. 1-1 one one to Tank. And nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth. And that pitch hits Tank. Now load him up for Braden Grimm. Grimm grounded out three unassisted back in the first inning, walked and scored a run in the third inning. We have a pitching change here for the light blue team. After Williams hit back-to-back -back batters, he's coming out. Noel Lyon will be the new pitcher. Take a quick time out here on the South Union Township Sports Network. New pitcher for the light blue team is Noah Lyon. Braden Grimm at the plate for the dark blue team. Bases loaded, nobody out, bottom of the fourth. Lead at 9-5, to five, dark blue over the light blue. Lyon's first pitch here to Braden Grimm. Inside for ball one. One zero, and therefore a strike count even at one and one. One one pitch, 
inside. Count at two and one. Two one high and inside. Three and one. Nowhere to put Braden Grimm. Need a strike here from Noah Lyon. Three one pitch, and therefore a strike. We're full of three and two. Now the payoff pitch. Low and inside for ball four, so an RBI walk for Braden Grimm, driving in Caden Pegg. You've had a walk. Two guys hit by a pitch and another walk here in the fourth inning. So the base is loaded, a run already across. Nobody out, all of that a hit here in the bottom of the fourth. Dark blue team now leading at 10 to five. They doubled up the light blue team so far. Leighton Mosier top of the order up for the dark blue team. Quickly to count at one and one. Mosier three for three today, two runs scored. Two singles in the center field, one in a right field. 1-1 one, one pitch, and therefore a strike one and two now. Lion to Mosier. The 1-2 pitch, staying alive, chopping and foul on the right side is Mosier. This game an hour and 38 minutes old. We're only here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a called strike three. Good pitch there on the inside corner as Lyon sends down Mosier for the first down to this bottom of the fourth inning. Now bring up Zane Klingen. First pitch here to Klingen popped up in the infield. Getting under it, Van Meter with a basket catch. Check that, it's James Williams. They made another switch there. Williams playing second, Van Meter playing first. Nonetheless, the out recorded. The second out of the inning. Nick Flesher now at the plate. Nick one for three in this game. Swing and a miss there at the first pitch. Hops away from the catcher, Edwards. Jarrett's not going anywhere. That ball ripped foul on the right side. Count 0-2 now. Lying to Flesher. The 0-2 pitch. Flesher chops it foul. Count remains 0-2. No two pitch again. This one a high chopper could be trouble. It's going to go to the shortstop Sutton, who has no play. So Flesher, an infield single and an RBI. Run scored for Jarrett. And it's 11 5. Jacob Kalich at the plate. He's the eighth batter for the dark blue team here in the bottom of the fourth. Takes the first pitch for ball one from Noah Lyon. Kalich has been on base safely in all three plate appearances. Walked and scored a run in the first inning. Two RBI single in the second, infield single in the third, and gets hit by a pitch here. That'll be another RBI. Scoring on the play is Tank. And the lead now at 12 to 5. Dark blue team over the light blue team. Gary Smitley at the plates. Smitley's the ninth player to come to bat here in this half inning. So he'll be the last batter of the inning no matter what due to the nine batter per half inning rule they put in due to the heat here today.
And that one sent foul on the right side. Just missed a car. Now Lions next pitch here to Smitley. Smitley well hit ball right back at Lyon. Turns over to first to make the throw to Cam Van Meter to retire. Smitley 1-3 to end the inning. But another big inning for the dark blue team. They tack on a few more runs. And they're in control of this one after four. The question is going to be how many innings are we going to play here today just due to the Time constraints. It's 12 5, dark blue over the light blue team heading in the top of the fifth here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Again, our live video stream today brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, United Bank. Davis and Davis attorneys at law, South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiffbau, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialists, SWGI, and Uniontown, and Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. Good. It's 12 to 5, the dark blue team over the light blue team. Heading into the top of the fifth. This game an hour and 44 minutes old. Let's see how many innings we get in here due to the time limits they've put on these Pony League games this year. Milsom, Edwards, and Williams do up here for the light blue team in the top of the fifth. And they trail by seven. Caden Pegg still on the mound. First pitch high there to Milsom. And the call-up's been on base safely in both plate appearances. Single to right field, scored a run in the second inning. Walked in the third inning. 1-0 pitch here, and Milsom another well-hit ball. And a one-hopper in the center field, bouncing in front of Leighton Mosier. So Milsom having a pretty good game as the call-up here today for the light blue team. And another hit. Now bring up the top of the order, and Alex Edwards, light blue team, starting through the lineup for the fourth time in this game. And here in the top of the fifth inning. Edwards got on via an air, scored a run in the first inning, walked and scored a run in the second, walked again in the third. Takes the pitch here high for ball one. Caden Pegg, the second pitcher of the game for the dark blue team. Nick Flesher started. Peg now on in relief. Milsom over at first. That one sent foul by Edwards. I would think where we're at time-wise, they might call this game after five here today. As we have another game to get in here at the Mulholland Field. Pitch low and outside. Count two and one now to Edwards. That pitch inside. Three and one now to Edwards. The first time. This afternoon into the evening, the sun actually behind the tree is not beating down on us here on the dugout down the third base line. That's a walk issued to Alex Edwards. 
So two on, nobody out. Now at the plate, James Williams. Williams swing and a miss of the first pitch. Hops away there from the catcher, Flesher. Throw down to third and in there safely is Aiden Milsom. Next pitch on the way. Missing there to Williams. Have to thank the folks over at the concession stand, bringing us some goodies to snack on here this afternoon. Next pitch low and inside to Williams. Count now 3-0. and First base is open, 3-0 pitch, inside for ball four. That'll load them up here for Noah Lyons. So the score 12-5, to but the light blue team not going away here in the top of the fifth. Get a little talk here between Peg and Flesher. You'll have Noah Lyon coming to the plate. Catcher Flesher just looks gassed right now on this hot night. Lying at the plate. First pitch low and outside for ball one. You can tell the heat really has tested both of these teams out here tonight. That pitch high and outside. Got out 2-0. and That one a called strike on the inside corner. Two and one now to Noah Lyon. He reached VNR, scored a run in the first inning, walked in the second inning, got on again VNR, and scored a run in the fourth. That pitch in there for a strike. Count out two and two. Peg to Lyon. That pitch just misses, and we'll go 4 3 and 2. Payoff pitch and a little nubber. It's ruled a foul ball, but I thought it was fair. I never saw that ball go left of the bag. I think Barczyk over here agrees with me. Thought that ball never went foul. Count remains three and two. Here we go again. That's low and outside for ball four. So an RBI walk issued here by Peg. That'll score Milsom. Cuts the lead to 12 to 6 with Alex Sutton coming to the plate. First pitch here to Sutton, swing and a miss. He's behind 0 and 1. Still nobody out here in the top of the fifth. That pitch high and inside. Another pitch missing there from Peg.
Kind of two and one. Just need strikes right now if you're the dark blue team. Finding one there is Peg. Count now even at two and two. This ball hit high in the air. Deep to right center field. It's going to drop in right between Mosier and Jarrett. Edwards scores. Williams scores. Lyons stopped at third. And Sutton with a double to right center field. Two RBI double. Now three runs scored here in the inning for the light blue team. And it's 12 to 8. With Cam Van Meter now at the plate. Van Meter 0 for 2 with a walk today. Swings at the first pitch, pops it up. In foul territory and unable to hang on there was Peg. In and out of his glove. Game in an hour and 53 minutes so far. Be surprised if we pay, play past the fifth inning. Another pitch missing there from Peg. Gray team getting set to take on the blue team in the next game. This ball chopped, going to short, or third, excuse me, Smitley there. High throw over the first baseman, Kalich. Another pair of runs scoring on the play as both Lyon and Sutton come across. Van Meter goes into second. Now five runs scored here in the inning for the light blue team. They've cut the lead to 12 to 10. Roman Haskins now coming to the plate. Haskins has been on base safely in every plate appearance so far. Walked back in the first inning. Single to left field in the third and was hit by a pitch in the fourth. First pitch misses low here. That will allow Van Meter to get down to third. He's in the third safely. We've had 22 runs scored in this game. And only here in the top of the fifth. Nice pitch to Roman Haskins. Another one hopper. Next pitch here, Peg to Haskins. And Haskins goes after that one, sends it in a right field. A catch made there by Cole Jarrett. And you had Van Meter running on the play. They could have doubled him off, but the ball was dropped there by Smitley. So the out recorded in right on the catch from Jarrett. That's the first out of the inning. And now Jacob Mahoney at the plate. Mahoney, one for two today with a walk. First pitch behind him. Score now 12 to 10. Another one low and outside. Count 2-0. and oh. C.J. Colgan due up next. 
Swing and a miss there from Mahoney. Count out two and one. Our swing and a miss takes us to two and two. That pitch low and outside. Down now full three and two. A big pitch here, peg to Mahoney. Three, two, swing and a miss, strike three. It's a second out of the inning. Now, C.J. Colgan, who's 0 for 3 today, coming to the plate. First pitch here to Colgan, and there for strike one. Count it 0-1. That one off the plates. Evens things up at one and one. One one pitch, and therefore a strike one and two now to Colgan. Two strikes on Colgan, has to protect the plate. Pitch is low. Got now two and two. Our game an hour and 59 minutes old. Two-two pitch, and that one hits Colgan. And he was the ninth batter of the inning. Now, if they've ruled this the final inning of the game, then Milsa might have an opportunity to bat. That's it. They're going to say that's it. She'll have five runs scored here in the top of the fifth. We've hit the time limit, and your final score will be 12-10. to 10, Dark blue team over the light blue team. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Get a Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay. Dark blue team defeats the light blue team 12-10. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.